Looking at the Xiaomi 9 on the specs sheet, it brings incredible value. 3000 RMB, you get a Snapdragon 855, you get a triple camera, you get a 6.4 AMOLED screen, under screen fingerprint technology. I'm really looking forward to trying that one out. And you get 20 watt wireless charging. And here it is, the Xiaomi 9. I like the way that, oh wow, look at that color. That is absolutely incredible. I really, really love that color. Really shiny, really reflective. They call it a holographic blue, but wow, it just looks so nice in person. I can see the holographic colors just coming off the edge. If you just catch the light right, the, the curve at the back there just shimmers this really amazing color. Actually, during the press event and a lot of the photos and adverts of this color, I don't really like the adverts. I thought, wow, I'm not gonna like that blue color, but in person, really, really lovely color. So this is obviously the blue one. It comes in black as well, and there's a purple version. This blue one, I think is my favorite. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It really is really nice color. So on the back there, you have that triple camera set up. Now the top camera has a sort of color ring around it, which also changes color when it catches the light. It's not an LED flash. It doesn't do anything. It's just there to make the phone look a bit better. And I guess it does do that. You have a 48 megapixel main camera, you have a telephoto and a super wide angle as well. The first time that Xiaomi have put a triple camera on a flagship phone of theirs. What I will say is I'm not used to having the camera bump on the right hand side. It's usually on the left hand side. It does stick out a little bit. Not a big deal. If you're going to put a case on this, then this won't be a problem. I just love this color. I really do. I mean, just just look at it shimmer, really, really nice. Anyway, let's get it turned on. Don't use screen protectors. If you think a screen protector is still necessary, choose among authorized compatible options. So there might be a problem if you put a screen protector on this, which is probably something you, you wanna do. Most people do these days, but maybe some work, maybe some don't. This is the AI button, so press and hold. Xiao Ai Tong Xue. Xiao Ai Tong Xue. Shout out Tong Xue. <laughs> My Chinese obviously isn't very good. All right, here we are. We are actually into the system. Took a little bit of time to get it set up. But there we are, there is the home screen. You can see those bezels have been reduced massively from the Mi 8, much, much smaller. It looks really good. This is an AMOLED screen. The colors on this thing look really great. They look really punchy. You can just see the notch at the top there, very, very small. Notch at the bottom is also very, very small. Much smaller than any other of their devices. On the back here, I just love this color. It's already got loads of fingerprints on it, but it's just rounded at the edges, something you don't get with some of their other phones. And it just, it feels really nice. It feels quite heavy as well. Definitely feels more premium, heavier materials metal rather than plastic. Obviously you've got uh, glass on the back there of some sort for the wireless charging. Although it doesn't feel the most robust of glass. Usually with these Mi devices, maybe the glass is quite thin or something, but it definitely doesn't feel as premium as the more expensive flagship phones. Let's just test the in-screen fingerprint sensor to see how it does. Oh man, that is just awesome. Absolutely love that. So I know you can double tap the screen to wake. Quick and accurate. Really love an in-screen fingerprint sensor. So much better than a fingerprint sensor on the back. And also I would say just as quick as Face ID on the iPhone. Absolutely awesome. Let's just put it side by side with the Redmi Note 7 just to see some comparisons, you've got the Redmi Note 7 on the right and the Mi 9 on the left. I would say it's a little bit smaller than the Redmi Note 7. Just take a look at the bezels. Just look at them side by side. I can just tell that the screen on the Mi 9 is much brighter, much sharper. It's obviously a more expensive panel all round. The water drop notch is again very similar on both of them, although 
Again, a more expensive phone. It just looks a little bit better on the Mi 9. Down at the bottom, you can see the difference in the bezel, much, much smaller on the Mi 9 than the Redmi Note 7. And also just the materials, they just feel very different in the hand. Wow, this color is just knocking me out. Never seen a better, I think this is the best color I've ever seen on a smartphone. It's just absolutely incredible the way that the light comes off of it. Obviously this is black, the Redmi Note 7 is black, so it won't be reflecting much, but a really, really lovely color on the Mi 9. You can just see the triple camera on the back there of the Mi 9. The design across the two devices is actually really, really similar. You just get a more premium phone with the Mi 9. So the selfie camera is a 20 megapixel camera. Let's just see always beauty modes on these things. Let's just do a, a quick photo. Very, very wide angle on that, I must admit. So you can just see the beauty modes on Xiaomi phones are always, always there. I don't like them that much, but I know a lot of people in China do like the beauty modes. You can turn it from five to zero. If I take one at zero, take one at five. Can you see much difference there? I'm not sure. I guess my face is smoother, my skin is smoother and a bit brighter. It's definitely a wide picture. That front camera definitely much wider than you get on the Redmi Note 7, I think. And it's gonna fit a lot more in the screen. I must admit though, it definitely is sharp. It's way better than the Redmi Note 7, that's for sure. You can see all of my imperfections, all of my pimples, all of the spots there. Definitely a higher quality camera on that. I'm actually quite surprised at the clarity on this camera here. Everyone, when you're taking a selfie with this phone, it's just gonna be looking at the color on the back there. That holographic color, I'm in love with it. It's absolutely awesome. I've never seen a phone with such a nice color on the back. I really like the fact that it has a triple camera on the back there. One of the strange things about it though, is you can see in the settings that you have to press a completely different button in order to get the super wide angle camera. So this is the normal, and if I press that, I get the super wide, and then back to the normal again. It takes a little while to go between them, which isn't the best. Usually you just get a slider bar, which you can slide all the way up or down, and it will zoom in and zoom out. But Xiaomi have decided to go with a completely separate button to do the ultra wide angle shots. It's something that you'll get used to, so it's not a massive problem, but anyway, you get super slow motion on this, 960 frames a second. That is incredible. <laughs> That's a pretty cool thing, I guess. Very slow, slow motion, 960 frames a second. You get short video in here as well. You get obviously video. Now by default, it doesn't shoot 4K. So I think you have to go into settings here. You go into video quality. By default, it's on 1080p, 30 frames a second, which for 99.9% which for .9 of us is absolutely plenty and fine. But if you want 4K, you have to choose it in the settings. Photo here also has AI, so you can choose that as well. Just go into the settings, you get 48 megapixel mode. If I take a picture of my hat in normal mode, and in 48 megapixel mode, you should be able to see a difference, especially zooming in. So this is normal mode. You can see, wow, the clarity is really good. You can see all the dust and all the other things on this supposedly black hat. You can really see really close into the detail there. That's the non 48 megapixel mode. If I go over to the 48 megapixel mode, wow, it just goes, <laughs> it goes in way further. You can actually see the cotton or the material in the hat. So that's 48 megapixel mode. You can almost magnify things. That is absolutely incredible. Night mode is crazy too. It just takes a totally different type of photo. It gives you so much more depth. Oh man, you can just see that. It gives you a really, really unique sort of look from your photo that you don't get with the normal camera. Obviously, 
during the night is going to be better. Wait for the camera review to see lots more of this type of shot, but it's a really unique look you get out of that camera and I cannot wait for the camera review when I see more and more and more of those photos. Something that I really like, especially hearing that the night mode on the Galaxy S10 isn't really that great. It doesn't really have one. This does and I'm really, really excited to test it out. That speaker is not that great. Functional, but there's very little low end, very little bass. What you get out of that speaker at the bottom here, just out of one of the speakers, this speaker on the right here is just for show. Yep, that is obviously one of the areas where Xiaomi doesn't really invest a lot of money. The speaker is pretty tinny, not the best I've heard. Definitely more expensive phones have better audio than that. So that's it, that's your first look, the 3000 RMB Snapdragon 855. Wow, there's a lot of tech in here. There are areas where they definitely don't spend the money, but this is way, way cheaper than other Snapdragon 855s. Certainly cheaper than a Samsung, way cheaper than an iPhone. You get a lot of bang for your buck with Xiaomi. Definitely wanna test this out more, do some more reviews of it, camera reviews, speed reviews, but that color, it's just the color. I, nothing else, just the color would make me buy this phone. It just shimmers, it has so much different, different depth and different colors in there. Absolutely awesome.